and we just like to know how you feel about uh, lecturing about uh, in front of different groups, wanting different parts of you, an academic person, a general activist, a mobilization of critical person, and uh, uh, you understand my question. How, how does it feel and what is the situation like? Personally? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's personal. <laughs> Well, you know, look, if the world would go away, I would be perfectly delighted to concentrate on intellectually interesting and challenging questions. Okay. So, like an artist would like to, I'm sure, would like to spend your time on challenging projects. You know? And every human being would like to do that. We all have our creative impulses and so on. You'd like to work on it. But the world's not going to go away. So there's conflicting pressures and demands. Uh, to what, and you have to just decide for yourself. I mean, how much time am I going to spend uh, going to concerts and how much time am I going to spend trying to help the homeless? Uh, there can't be an answer to that. You know? uh, no human being is uh, so saintly that they dedicate themselves totally to helping other people. You couldn't survive for, um, you couldn't even survive that way. Uh, nor would it be a healthy life for an activist or anyone else. So you figure out how you're going to live your life. Well, okay, you figure out some kind of balance. Uh, as far as the uh, talks are concerned, they're overwhelmingly political. I mean, I come to places and give technical talks, but only if it's part of something else. And those talks are mostly, um, almost all, uh, a response to local organizations. I mean, some local organization as I mentioned in the United States, but in fact in most of the world, uh, people are just very disconnected from one another. They're, just, you know, they're separated by all sorts of mechanisms. And uh, one of the points of having big meetings where a couple thousand people come together, or even a couple, you know, maybe 50 even, but it's usually thousands by now, is people just get to know each other. I mean, people who are working in one part of town find out that somebody in another part of town is doing something similar. Uh, and a lot of the speaking is, especially in the United States, is that. Uh, it's, uh, it's initiated by local organizations. I mean, often for fundraising or something like that. Uh, but often just to try to bring people in and uh, try to bring people together and get them to you know, energize them to work with each other. And so a good, if, if a talk is well organized, uh, a large component of it is organization. So people aren't just supposed to come and listen to a talk and go home. You know, they're supposed to be offered something to do uh, and say, well, here's what we're working on. Why don't you do you know, do this? That's, and many different things. In fact, those are the ways that good talks are organized, serious ones. And I try to do those as much as possible. Uh, but uh, you know, again, I don't know an answer. And it's going to be a different answer for every person. And should be. I mean, after all, for all different people with different interests and concerns. Um, thank you very much for your answers. Uh, we we'll do our best uh, uh, today uh, to have not just a talk like this, but to bring as many people in our organizations and networks as possible through our little uh, leaflets out there and, and through talking to each other at the stands out there. So be involved, get organized. I'd like to thank the audience for their attention and their questions. I'd like to thank uh, our guests in the panel for their warming up questions. And I'd like to especially thank Mr. Chomsky uh, for being here and uh, answering our questions. And I'd like to ask Tracy Wheatley, uh, one of our organizers, to present a little uh, gift to Mr. Chomsky. It's a t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> 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 Thank you.